Today's video is on the top five most amazing caves on Earth. Number five, the Blue Grotto, Capri, Italy. The island of Capri in Italy has been a resort destination since the Roman times. Famed for its picturesque scenery and glorious weather, there's one place here that's steeped in mystery and legend, the Grotta Azzurra, also known as the Blue Grotto. It's a sea cave on the island's coast, but because of its unique formation, sunlight enters through an underwater opening and illuminates the cavern with a rich blue color. Furthermore, any objects placed in the water appear to be silver because they are covered in small bubbles that refract the light differently. The grotto has been used for hundreds of years, and during the Roman era, it was a private swimming hole of Emperor Tiberius. Remnants of statues in honor of the water nymphs can still be seen, and nowadays it's an extremely popular tourist site where you can hire a rowboat to take in the majesty of this place. Number 4. Eisleisenwelt Ice Cave, Werfen, Austria. With a total length of almost 25 miles, Esreisenwelt Ice Cave in Werfen, Austria is the largest ice cave in the world. It first began to form around 100 million years ago as a result of tectonic activity that opened up cracks. In the following years, water erosion and chemical processes widened these into a series of connected hollow spaces that we see today. Locals have known of the cave for hundreds of years, but few dared venture near because they believed it to be the entrance to hell. The first outsider to discover it was a natural scientist called Anton Posselt, who explored the first few hundred feet in 1879, but it would be another 30 years before the extent of the subterranean hollow was known. Now, there's a cable car leading to the entrance to make it easily accessible for tourists, and it's a trip worth making. There are stalagmites and stalactites formed from ice, glorious structures along the walls, and a huge cavern known as the Ice Palace. Everyone who visits the cave sees how truly beautiful ice formations can be, and it's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Number 3. The Marble Caves, Patagonia The Marble Caves in Patagonia are a series of rock formations that have been created over the past 6,000 years by the force of waves from the Lake General Carrera crashing against a marble peninsula. This has created an outer shell of vivid colors, along with even more intense swirls within that happen as a result of reflections from the lake's clear blue waters. This effect means that the marble caves, also called the marble cathedral, changes in appearance throughout the year. In the spring, the shallow turquoise waters reflect a shimmer against the rock, while in the summer, the deeper water gives the cave a much darker blue hue. The entire structure is so unusual that you could easily believe that it was a landscape of a faraway planet. In reality, though, it's all possible because of a geographical fluke that left a solid marble mound surrounded by water from the melting glaciers that also deposit the fine particles on the lake bed that are so reflective. Visiting the marble caves is possible, but it's a journey that requires a 1,000-mile drive from the Chilean capital, Santiago, to the lake before boarding a boat for the final leg. It's well worth the trip though, as you won't be able to see anything like this anywhere else on the Earth. Number two, the Cave of the Crystals, Chihuahua, Mexico. In April of 2000, two brothers were drilling a mine in Chihuahua, Mexico, when they came across one of the most unbelievable caves in the world. Known as the Giant Crystal Cave, it's full of giant gypsum crystals, the largest of which was 39 feet long, 13 feet wide, and with an approximate weight of 55 tons. The cave is 980 feet below the surface and is connected to the Nika mine that produces lead, zinc, and silver. While other areas of gypsum crystals have been found, none are anywhere near the size in this particular cave, and that's because of the ideal conditions that are present there. The crystals have been forming for millions of years without interruption, a process that started because the was filled with water that had been pushed up by magma from beneath and contained high concentrations of a mineral called anhydrite. At high temperatures, this anhydrite remained suspended in water, but as things began to cool slightly, it started to collect together and form crystals. The way that they formed underwater and in relatively high temperatures meant that the crystals were able to grow much larger than would otherwise have been the case. After finding the cave, the mining company drained all of the water before they realized what was in there. 
and it soon became clear how dangerous a place it was. The temperature is around 113 degrees Fahrenheit, and the humidity levels are about 100%, which can be fatal. Miners were limited to just 10 minutes in the cave at a time, but the development of special cooling suits enabled visits of up to an hour. Researchers took every opportunity they could to take samples, with some retrieving evidence of tiny organisms that had been there for at least 50,000 years. The removal of the water from the cave stopped the crystals from growing any further, though, and amidst signs that they were losing their structural integrity because of their exposure to air, the decision was made to stop pumping water out. It's now believed that the cave is flooded once again, and the crystals are growing once more. The story makes you wonder, though, what else is out there just waiting to be discovered? Number 1. Waitomo Glowworm Caves, Waitomo, New Zealand New Zealand is home to some of the most wondrous sights anywhere on Earth. But even in such a beautiful country, there's a truly magical place, the Waitomo Glowworm Caves. Located on the North Island, the cave network is home to Arachnocampa luminosa, a species of glowworm that can only be found there. The Waitomo region has more than 300 natural limestone caves, each of which formed over the last 30 million years. Having once been underwater, the rock is made from compressed biomatter that, when it was forced above water, began to erode away to leave open caverns. They are full of stalagmites and stalactites, and a number of different species including albino cave ants, giant crickets, and longfin eels. But it's the huge populations of glowworms that make it so special. When fully grown, they're about the same size as a mosquito. They aren't actually worms, though but a fly larva that produces a blue-green bioluminescence, which is a trait that they've developed to help them catch food. The lights trick other animals into thinking they're outside in a starry night, and they try to fly up into the sky. When they hit the ceiling, they get trapped in the sticky thread that the larva weave, and remain there until they're eaten. The side effect of this hunting method is that they illuminate the limestone structures within the caves, and one place in particular called the Glowworm Grotto has an entire ceiling of living lights. The caves have been a visitor's attraction since 1889, offering boat trips and guided tours to see the spectacular views. The acoustics in here are great too, so several singers and choirs have performed in an opening called the Cathedral, with a backdrop you won't find anywhere else. Honorable Mentions La Sau Cave, Montagnac, France the Lasso Cave in Montagnac, France, contains some of the most historically significant discoveries ever made because the walls are covered in almost 600 paintings that date back to between 17,000 and 15,000 years ago. It was first found in 1940 by a group of boys looking for their dog, and since then has both astonished and bemused researchers. The artworks are of various subjects, such as horse, deer, ibex, bison, and some cats, but it's not entirely clear what their purpose or meaning was. It's generally thought that there was a ritualistic or maybe even a spiritual significance to them, which implies the people who created them were far more developed than people of the time were previously thought to have been. A lot can be learned about life at the time from the paintings. For example, some of the colors were made using types of manganese oxides that aren't found anywhere nearby. In fact, the closest place is more than 150 miles away, which suggests the existence of trade routes between the regions. Following its discovery, Lesso Cave was opened up to visitors, but after it was noticed that this activity had begun to damage the paintings, it's now completely closed, with a second cave having been opened nearby for tourism, which is full of replicas and the images found in the original. Sun Duong Cave, Vietnam Vietnam's Sun Duong Cave was first discovered in 1990 and has since been found to be the world's largest cave. It began life about three million years ago as water trickled through and eroded the rock. And now it's more than three miles long and at points is as much as 650 feet high. It's so big that it has its own weather system inside. And it also contains the world's largest known stalagmite, which is 262 feet tall. Parts of the ceiling have been collapsed, which allows an eerie light to enter the darkness and has enabled plant life to grow. Various species have made this place home, including birds and monkeys, but it's now become a hotspot for tourism, which has raised concerns about the future. Currently, it takes two days of trekking through a thick jungle and crossing treacherous rivers to get there, which has limited the number of visitors who enter. 
There are plans, though, to construct a cable car link to the cave, which could transport as many as 1,000 people and hour to the site, which would have disastrous consequences for the ecosystem and the prehistoric feeling of the place. I hope you all enjoyed today's video, narrated by Zach this time. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out some of our recent uploads.